welcome back. Uh, this is Youth in Agriculture. So Haron is here with me and he will be showing us uh, some of the application they are using. We have one here which is called Laikipia Agricultural Observatory Platform and he will be showing us some of the functions of the app and how it's been able to help him in his daily farming activities. So keep it here. Yes, Haron. Okay. Yeleze, tunatumia laikipia gaps iko kwa laikipia peke yake like manage weather tunakuja sasa okay una una, una select your county you could be one one laikipia then you use sub county laikipia like east then inakuuliza ward where can go bit sasa hapo imechukua location kwenye huko sasa a eh, na location always equal on so after ku select hizo vitu una iambia get agro advisory takutolea sasa weather forecast ya gobit so imetuletea gobit weather forecast for the eh, next 7 days so unaitumia hii weather ku ina ku advise kufanya nini Kwa kama unataka kupanda unapanda Eh, kama mvua itanyesha utajua unaweza panda kama hakuna mvua unaona hakuna haja ya kupanda manufaa gani nyingine unaweza unapata through dairy farming um, imenisaidia sana kama mimi si dag kununua gas gas natumia biogas yenye eh, eh, niko na plant ya, 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 ya biogas tunachukua ile waste ya ngombe tunaweka na mix na maji inatoa gas na unatumia kwa kwa matumizi ya nyumbani yeah. so mimi si hadi kununua gas hapana mm. na manyua maybe kwa shamba na kitu unalima unatumia maji um, yeah tena una utilize kwa shamba ukipanda chakula okay mimi pia ni mkulima wa i have ninalimanga crop zingine kama cabbage eh, na inisaidianga sana na inasaidia ku reduce cost ya kuchukua fertilizer kama size haipatikani nikitumia manyua it is an alternative ku eh, eh, badala ya nunue fertilizer natumia natumia manyua so pengine ukicompare igas unatumia na zile zingine zinatumika pale nje mm. unaona hii iko better ni better uh, he, it's not a frameable hauwezi kama ile ingine inaweza lipuka hii hawezi lipuka hata ukiwacha kama imefungulwa uache alafu uache kibeliti haiwezi toma haiwezi toma tena it is an added advantage kwa maneno tuliongea maneno ya climate change zinasaidia sana ku reduce hizo shida za climate change having my that uh ile waste ya ngombe ngombe livestock ni moja hapo ya zile vitu zina zina release hizo carbon carbon gases hiyo waste tunaichukua tunaweka pale na badala hiyo kukuwa na 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 uharibifu wa hewa tunaenda hiyo hiyo inatumika hiyo methane inaenda inatumika kwa biogas tunaitrize kwa nyumba so zinasaidia sana kuredusi hizo shida za greenhouse gas emission. Nimetoka pale pale mwisho mpaka huko. E kitu mpaka huko mwisho. Kitu kama 1 and a half. 1 and a half acre. Yeah. Sasa hivi ni ya ngombe. Kila vitu mingi hapa ni za ngombe. Tunkipanda tuna na kama ni silage unakata ikiwa size ile. Yaani unangojea ifike mahali inatoa maziwa hapo unaikata tunaweka silage. Haya, sasa nayo hapa ni biogas. Tunachukua chukua ile waste kwa ngombe, tunakuja tunaileta hapa. Hapa una mix na maji, kuna ile kiwango. Kuna ile ile okay, ku, un, una yani ya yeah, ya. Yeah, yeah. Ikue solution kama hii. Ile thickness kwa thickness tunakuja tunafungulia hapa yenye umekoloka itaingia huko ndani sasa eh itaingia pale ndani 
Aya. Sawa sawa. <coughs> shimo imetoka hapa hapa kuzunguka hiyo ni shimo. 8 cubic meter chini na kuenda chini ni kama eh, 6 feet. Gas ina truck hapa. It is like a dome. Yaani ni kitu kameka kameka dome. Eh silali imefika pale chini na kuna mahali kuna kadomu hivi so gas ina trapiwa hapa eh alafu ikisha trapiwa inakuja ina kuna kageti hapa na pipe hizo zinapeleka mpaka uh, kwa nyumba mimi ni mzaliwa nyandara nimesoma hadi class 8 form 4 nikaenda nikasomea nikaenda college nikasomea ualimu Okay, kutoka hapo nikapatana na Alon ndiye huyo mimi kuachana na maz, na kufunza nikaingia hii kazi ya kulisha ngombe nimesaidiana kama for example chenye tunapata ndio inatusaidia kule ku, chenye tunarima tena chakula tunapata hapo na vitu vingine. Huwa tunamsaidia kukata majani, kupea ngombe maji, kukamua, e, hivi vyote. Nilionelea ukulima una manufaa kuliko ufunzaji. Kwa majina na itu wajeni mukami mulaya, nini, mimi ni mfanikasi wa agrikata wa Laikipia County, Laikipia East Sub County, Go Betwood, na we location. Na mimi niliada college 1985 to 1987. Alafu nikawa posted hapa la ikipia. Nafanya kasi ya extension services, kwa wakulima, kwa wakikudi, na kwa organized groups. Na nimefanya hii kasi kwa meyaka theradhini na sita. Nimefanya from 1987 up to date. Ayo. Wakulima wetu sana sana ni wanafanya mixed cropping. Wanaweka ngombe, wanaweka kuku, wako na buzi, wako na kondo, na wandarima mimea kama mahidi, mahalagwe, na piyasi, na boga. Tumekua tukisomea sa wakulima wetu on digital agriculture na other extension services. Kwa digital agriculture, tumewafunza kutumia easy smartphone sababu walikuwa anasema ni gumu hata hataki kutumia isimu lakini tukafunza kutumia isimu mpaka wakakubali na wengi wao wanatumia isimu kwa kutafuta digital apps tunawasaidia kuwawekea na tena application zingine kama like ipia gaps ili wasome juu ya kutunza mimea yao na plantis ili wasome juu ya kutibu na ingine tumewafudisha ni kao na lao ili waweze kuangalia juu ya ni, ya utambiri wa hali ya anga maana tumeona tabia za nchi zimebadilika sana tuseme kama samani wakati huu tukekuwa na mvua lakini wakati huu tuko na ya gasi na kulima wetu wamepada kwa hivyo tulikuwafunza juu advisory services ili waka, wakiangalia waone kutakuwa na kiagasi wanakaa kidogo wa halafu wanapada wakati wameangalia wameona kutakuwa na mkua kwa hivyo tumewafunza juu ya advisory services ili waweze kufanya proper planning tangu tuanze hii program ya aquit tumetrain wa kulima wengi tumetrain wa kulima kama 5000 because we tuko na TOTs wengi sisi ni TOT samba kwa hii ward kwa hivyo tumetrain wa kulima kama 1500 na iko wengine tume sensitize kati tumekuwa tukitrain hii digital agriculture tumekuwa na challenges mingi wa kulima wetu wengi wako na hii kasimu ya kababi <laughs> na wengine ni wakogwe ni, ni wase na wengine wale wako na hii simu wakati mwingine hawana bados Na tena pahali, mwine, tulikuwa na shida ya internet. 
Kwa hivyo tumekuwa na challenges kadha wa kadha hizo zenye nimetaja. Lakini tumekuwa tukitumia kama mimi niko na yagu wale ambaye hawana hii simu natumia yagu wa nini kuwafundisha nafanya demonstration na hii yagu. Na wanakubali tu na, na wanaenda wa embrace in technology ya digital agriculture yenye tumeona itasaidia sana. Thank you so much for staying with us. That brings us to the end of our episode today. And I believe that Haron's and Naomi's story has inspired you. If you have a story that you also want to share with me, let me know through the uh, email address that is on your screen. But until next time, enjoy the rest of our programs.